today on Hickory Hideout. Francois Truffle, famous French director, is auditioning talent for his new film. Open auditions begin this morning at the Cleveland Playhouse's Studio One Theater. Before we begin the audition, I want to introduce to you our leading man, Mr. Wolf Gable. Hey, Wolf, come on in there, you son of a guy. Hey! Wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait, a wait a second, wait a second. We haven't had a chance to tell you. Lori and I made callbacks for the movie. Wait. Wait, what are you talking about? What movie? The movie that's going to be made right here in town. Attention, attention. I am pleased to introduce to you our famous director, Natswa Squel L. And I am his lovely assistant, Shirley La Squelly. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, come on, Natsu. This is ridiculous. Cassie and Buzz aren't right for those parts. Action! Oh, Granny, Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, Granny, what a big snoot you have. <laughs> This is WWWW rock music that rocks through the ages. Hey, 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 calling all girls, calling all girls. Any of you girls out there between the ages of 10 and 14 looking to become a movie star? Yeah, I would. You would? Well, here's your chance. Listen up. Mammoth Movies is having a casting call. What's a casting call? A casting call is a general audition for talent, stars for their newest movie. Francois Truffle, famous French director, is auditioning talent for his new film. Open auditions begin this morning at the Cleveland Playhouse's Studio One Theater. Wow, to be a movie star. I've always wanted to be in a movie. Attention all girls, 10 to 14. This is your chance to be a star. France Raw Truffle is auditioning today for his latest movie, La Petite Chaperon Rouge. Hey, Jimmy, look at this. I know, I just heard it on the radio. Let's go. Gee, there are a lot of girls here. Attention, attention. I am Francois Truffle's assistant. I am so happy to see so many charming little girls who came for the audition for the movie. We will come this way now. Come on, come on. Attention, attention, girls. Now you may sit down. Francois Truffle will be here any moment. So, hold up your numbers in front of you so that he will know what your number is. He will call you by that number, all right? Okay, presenting Francois Truffle! No, 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 guys, please keep your seats. Uh, keep your seats. Now, I know I am the most handsome film director in the world, but please, uh, control yourself. <laughs> control yourself. Uh, now, before we begin the audition, I want to introduce to you our leading man, Mr. Wolf Gable. Hey, Wolf, come on in there, you son of a guy. Hey, 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 hey Frenchie, my dears, I'm very glad to be here. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Good to see you. All right, now, uh, Mr. Gable will be helping me with the casting. Come on, Wolf, let's <laughs> take a look now. How are we have here? Mm. All right. Uh, uh, Aha. <laughs> Let me see, number four. Number Would you stand up, please? Four. Yes, stand up. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Um, number six. Number six. Oh, wow. Ah, she's yes, a great little thing. Yes, isn't she nice? Um, number ten. Number ten. Oh, well, isn't she dear? Ah, oh, yeah. 
Huh? Uh, that's all I need to see. Do you need to see anyone? Well, who's the, uh, number 14, dear. Would you stand up and yes. turn around, please? Uh -huh. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. That's wonderful. That is the end of the audition. Now, let me see. Uh, number two, number six, number five, uh, number 14, number 10, and uh, 15. I want to see you all back here later. The rest of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Come along, Wolf. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. What does this mean? We got the part? We all do? No, no, that was just the first audition. But we didn't do anything but sit here. They must be looking for a certain type. What do you mean? You know, typecasting. They cast you because you look like the part. Well, what do you think we'll be doing in the next part of the audition? They may have us read a scene from the script. The script? The lines to be said in the movie. Oh. oh. Well, what else might we have to do? Improvisation. What's that? That's what I give you a situation and you have to act it out. We may also have to sing and dance. What are we sitting around here for? Let's go practice. Yeah. Practice? Practice what, Lori? I don't know. Wow, oh, that Wolf Gable. What an actor, and he's so handsome. He absolutely captured the essence of the big, bad wolf. Oh, yeah, but Buzz, it was the direction that made the movie. I mean, it, that Francois Truffle is a genius. It's the director who's really responsible for the quality of a movie, you know. He's the one who calls the camera shots and tells the actors what to do and supervises everything. I know that, Wayne. I know all that. But if I don't have a good actor, you don't have a good movie. Mm, no, wait a second, wait a second. If you don't have a good story, you don't have a good movie. You've got to have a plot, a theme like that movie. Be prepared. Hmm. Prepare, Lori. We have to prepare. But how? If only we knew what the movie was about. I know the name of it, Lou Petit Chaperon Rouge. Well, that's French, but what does it mean? I don't know. Hi, guys. Oh, what's up? Oh, boy, do we have news for you. We were just selected. Selected? Selected for what? You are not going to believe this. We just auditioned for a movie, and we have to prepare. Wow, would I like to be in a movie? Ooh, do you think they need any squirrels? I don't know. You could come with us. Have you seen any of the other hideout members? Yes. They went to a movie. <laughs> Sounds like they're back. Good. We need their help. Let's go. No, no, no. Without great acting, you don't have a movie. You've got to have a great story or there's nothing to act. But a great director can make bad acting and a bad story look good. Hey, gang, wait until you hear our great news. Yeah, we're gonna be movie stars. But not so. How can you be so sure? We haven't even auditioned yet. Oh, take a glance, Cheryl. I got everything it takes. Looks, personality, and charm. But do you have acting talent? Oh, come on, anybody can act. Oh, no, not so. It's not that easy. You've got to have some talent. You've got to have a great story. A great director. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. We haven't had a chance to tell you. Lori and I made callbacks for the movie. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What movie? The movie that's going to be made right here in town. La Petite Chaperone Rouge. Little Red Riding Hood? With Wolf Gable starring as the wolf. Now wait just a minute. You're going to be in a movie with Wolf Gable? And we need your help. We've got to prepare something for the audition for Francois Truffle. Francois Truffle, he's my favorite director. The other girls that made callbacks said something about improvisations. Oh, I know what they are. They give you a story idea that you have to act out with your own words and actions from your own imagination. Well, could you show us one? Well, I'm going to need your help, Buzz and Wayne. Okay, Cassie. Well, take part of it. Our scene is an elevator. All right. Okay, that's where it takes place. What happens? We're going up to the 10th floor, and the elevator gets stuck. Oh, elevator? I don't see any elevator. This is improvisation. We can make it up. Ooh, OK. Right. Who are the characters? Well, everybody, make up your own character. I'll be a lady about to have a baby. And I'll be a man who is afraid of closed spaces. OK. And I'll be a father who's taking his two twin babies to the doctor. Uh, <laughs> who will you be? I don't know. Jenny? 
I don't know either. Well, you can be our audience then. All right, okay, now. Ready? Mm -hmm. Curtain? <laughs> Oh, not so and surely. Be quiet. What cute twins. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm hoping for twins myself. Oh, the elevator's moving up. Oh, yes, that's that's what elevators do. <laughs> oh, no, I think the twins need their diapers changed. Wait a minute, what's happening? The lights are blinking. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, I think the elevator is stalled. Let me push the emergency button. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's not working. It's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, oh. What's wrong? I think my baby's coming now. Oh, please let me out of here. I'm afraid of closed faces. Just let me out of here, would you please? Please let me out of here. I gotta get out of here. I'm just afraid of closed faces. Oh. Hey, pretty good, huh? Oh, thank you. That was very good, but I couldn't do that. I wouldn't know what to say. Well, uh, maybe they'll just let you read out loud. Well, that's fine, but we've got to get back to the audition right now. Thanks for your help. Okay, see you later. Good, good luck. Good luck. They're gonna need it. Hickory Hideout will return after these messages. And now, back to Hickory Hideout. Now, Wolf, yeah. I thought uh, for the audition today, we would have you read the forest oh, scene. The forest scene, right. It's with each one of the girls. Oh, right? yeah. Well, Fran, what kind of characterization did you have in mind? Well, now, Wolf. In this scene, I see the wolf as very, very friendly. Do you yeah. understand? Friendly. Okay. Okay, now, uh, the girls are all here, yes? Monsieur Trapal, there are two animals here who would like to be in the forest scene. Ah! Rats! Oh. Rats! I don't work with rats! Not since that awful Pied Piper picture. It was a disaster. Ben is a real oh, mess to work with. Oh, get them out of here! Out of my sight! But we are at rats! Yeah. See if we get them out of here now. Uh, all right, now all the girls are here. Now we'll get ready to read this. That show biz. Now, uh, number six. Uh, you will read the forest scene with Harry. Where are you going in such a hurry, little girl? Oh, I'm on my way to Granny's house. Thank you. Uh, number ten, same thing, please. Where are you going in such a hurry, little girl? Oh, I'm on my way to Granny's house. Go on. What do you have in your basket? Goodies for my Granny. Excellent! Excellent! Oh, yes, superb! Oh, number 10, the part is yours! <laughs> Wait a second, I didn't even read. Oh, that's too bad. Number 10 is perfect. Number 10 has the part. Number 10 is the oh. part. Oh, the rest of you, I'm sorry. Number 10, please, come with me. Eh? That doesn't seem fair. I didn't even get a chance to try. Of course, I never acted before. I probably wouldn't have done very well. I was terrible. I was so nervous. Listen, but I didn't get a chance either. I've taken acting lessons for two years now, and if you don't mind my saying so, you seem so nervous. I was. I couldn't help it. Yes, you could. I was afraid before I took acting classes. Hey, why don't you come watch one of the classes at the youth theater? You may learn something. What do you think, Jenny? Sounds like fun. No, 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 no. Great acting. A great story. Great directing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, not so Shirley? It's not us. It's that Francois Truffle. He wouldn't even let us audition. He said we were rats. Oh, what an insult. Yeah, I guess we're just no good. Oh, not so that's not true. No, usually a director is just looking for a specific type of actor that looks like the character in the movie. And maybe in this particular movie, he didn't need any squirrels. We can play other parts besides squirrels, can't we, not so? Well, sure we can, I think. Hey, I know. We should show them. We'll make our own movie, that's what. See you guys later. Well, I don't know, but I think we've got to help them. 
their confidence is pretty low right now. No, I think you're right, Cassie. And besides, this will be a perfect opportunity for me to show you both what I mean by great directing. And then I will show you what I mean by great acting. And I'll find a great story. No, no, no. Great it's directing. Great you're you're first. You've got to have story first. You've got to be a great actor. If you happen to have a great story, that's one of the best stories. If you don't have a great director, you're not a big enough. There's a lot to learn before becoming an accomplished actress. We're here at the movement class at the Playhouse. Hi, Becky. I brought two friends, Lori and Jenny Long. They're interested in doing some acting. I thought movement class would be a great place to begin. See you later. Jessica is right. The body has to be flexible in order to portray different characters. Would you like to watch Jenny and Lori? OK, roll your shoulders. All right, now shake your hands out for me. Shake them out, just your hands. Now your arms. Shake out your arms like you like spaghetti noodles. Add your shoulders. OK, good. And let your arms hang. Arms hang. Start by shaking one foot. Bottom half your leg. Good. And bottom half your leg. I've got an idea for a story. We'll use the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. You know that oh. story. You see, Jack sells his cow and gets some magic beans. He takes the magic beans and plants them in the ground. And then they grow into this huge beanstalk. He climbs up the beanstalk, and then he meets the giant. And I can just see myself in the part of the giant, you know, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Okay, yeah. Good, good. Uh, let's start at the beginning. We need a set mm -hmm. and props. Right. So we'll need a hen that lays a golden egg, mm -hmm. and a cow, and a giant beanstalk. Attention! Action! Rolling! Attention! Attention! I am pleased to introduce to you our famous director, Natsua Squel L, and I am his lovely assistant, Shirley La Squelly. What? Wait a second, Natsua. I thought you wanted to be in the movie, not direct it. No, no, no. Uh, this is going to be my movie, and you will be my actors. Uh, uh, Cassie, would you please pass out the scripts? What's the story about, Natsua? That is uh, Naswa, please. Uh, uh, my movie, she takes place in the woods. Uh, a little squirrel is on her way to grandmother's house when she meets a rat, a big, mean rat who later disguises himself as her grandmother. Now that sounds like a very familiar story. What do you call your story, Nutso? I call it Little Red Riding Squirrel. <laughs> I thought so. Uh, now, we shall have auditions for the part of the Little Squirrel. Uh, Cassie, do you have a copy of the script? Yes, I do. But not so I don't think I'm right for the part of the squirrel. <laughs> Oh, well, that is why I'm having you read the part of the rat. And, Buzz, you will read the little squirrel. Oh, no, I'm definitely not right for the little squirrel. Please, please, let Monsieur Natsua make that decision. Begin reading, please. All right. <clears throat> oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, come on, Natsua, this is ridiculous. Cassie and Buzz aren't right for those parts. Oh, so I suppose then, Wayne, that you are right for this part? Very well, you may read the squirrel part. Well, I'm not right for that part either. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Are you telling us that you don't want to be in our movie? Are you telling us that we aren't any good? Why, you're just as bad as that Francois Truffle. You're making fun of us. That's the one, Shirley. We're not trying to make fun of you. So then stop complaining and do the movie as we want you to. Cassie, you're going to be the rat. Wayne, you're going to be the woodsman. And Buzz, you're going to be the little squirrel, OK? OK. <laughs> Hickory Hideout will return after these messages. And now, back to Hickory Hideout. Oh, excuse me, we were looking for Jessica. Hi, Jenny and Lori. We're studying old age makeup today. We better hurry or we'll be late for improvisation class. I've got some objects for you to use today, like these earmuffs this pan, and this hairbrush. Now, what else can we use this hairbrush as? I can use it as a telescope. As a mirroring. Good. As a water faucet. Very good. A uh, telephone. Very good. Jessica, what can you use that, uh, that hairbrush as? A microphone. 
Good. But this is Laurie and Jenny. They're interested in doing some acting. Hi, welcome, Laurie and Jenny. I've got a suitcase here today. Now, oftentimes in plays, we have to use suitcases. Now, do you think that the prop people actually pack the suitcases full of stuff? No. No, they don't. The actors have to pretend that they're full. Jessica, do you want to try to make it heavy? Sure. Okay. Very good. Good. Lori, would you like to try? Very good. Go ahead, Jenny. Good. That's good. Now, you see, they tried different ways of picking that up. They grabbed a hold of the handle and, 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 and held it down so that it gave it that effect of making it heavy. Oh, Granny, Granny. Cut! 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 You're not supposed to start the action until I say action. All right. All right, now. Action! Uh, oh, Granny, Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, Granny, what a big snoot you have. <laughs> the better to smell you with, my dear. Granny, Granny, what big teeth you have. The better to bite you with, my dear. Oh, help, help, a rat, a rat, I need an exterminator. Here I am to the rescue. Can Print. Now, well, I'll just rewind it, and then you all can see my masterpiece. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? Hi. Oh, hi, girls. Did you get the part in the movie? No, we didn't get the part. Francois Truffle picked somebody else for the part. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it was a good experience. We learned a lot about being an actor and met a lot of students who were serious about it. Okay, okay. Gather around the screen. It's all rewound. You made a movie, Netso? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to show that Francois Truffle that he's got competition from Nutso P. Squirrely. Yeah. Uh, now, Cheryl, turn on the set. Okay. Oh, Granny, Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, Granny, what a big snoot you have. The better to smell you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, Granny, what big teeth you have. The better to bite you with, my dear. Oh, help, help, a rat, a rat, I need an exterminator. Here I am to the rescue. Wow. You know, there's something I completely forgot. Yeah, you can have great actors. Great costumes. Makeup and props. Wonderful sets. A great story. And great direction. But if you have a lousy cameraman, you you've got, got a lousy movie. <laughs> <laughs> An actor's life may seem like fun, but it's a very special one With many skills that must be learned and much that must be done Actors need to study makeup so they'll know the things to do To make the character they play convincing, real and true Actors need to study movement so they walk or jump or run Like the character they're playing when the acting's being done Other things they need to learn are speech and voice and diction And dialects and using props and character depiction Then there's the experience of using every skill To bring a character to life, an actor's greatest thrill an actor's life's a special one There's lots more work than simple fun And yet when all is said and done It's the life for me